Hey guys, it's Jake here, um, coming with a requested tutorial on how to make snow like this in Unreal Engine 4. If you want to see what it looks like in the actual game, I'll show you now. Let's drag it in. Bring it up a bit. Just kind of, you should see snowfall. have it slightly too high up for it to be settling on the ground but bring it down a bit when it hits the ground it should sit there yeah yeah sits there sweet it's a really nice thing don't worry about the sky if your sky doesn't look like that you know it's part of the game that I was working on <laughs> Alright, so I'm not really going to go in and make it from scratch because, to be fair, I made this a long time ago. The best thing is to go through what I actually have in my settings. So for the required, you need uh, material snowflake, and I'll show you what that looks like. You literally just need a white color that you plug into these two multipliers. Particle color is a node. If you just type in there. You know, particle color, really easy to get. For your texture, you're going to need a fall off, or you can make this yourself in Photoshop. Just anything that has a really bright middle and a soft outer. This is how the snowflake's going to look. This here, you don't actually need. This is just extra stuff. Like you could just leave it without that and plug that into the depth fade, which makes it blend in nicely with. Uh, objects that it touches. So that's that's everything. If you want to look at that pixel depth, that's another one that you can use. All of these are just standard. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for that material. No, um, don't really need. I guess that there's different from what I is normally there. All these yellow, everything with a yellow means it's been changed reset to default I've changed it from what it's normally so none of these have been changed at all that's the only one that has been changed really there um, spawn I use the constant and I have a semi good graphics card so you put in this many like depending on what I've got it okay first thing you have to realize that this is a GPU sprite not a C like you can change the type data and normal, all of these other ones, I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on that actually. I'm pretty sure this is the only one that uses the GPU at this point in time for rendering of the particles. So all of these other ones here, they run on your CPU and they you can't have th this many particles. Like it, it will just freeze your computer. Like my computer does freeze at a certain point. Like if you go to like there, you know, okay. If I put it in game, the FPS will drop substantially. Because I like to keep it at the optimum level. Anyways, um, the rate scale, it's just one. And that's there. The burst is just one. That's a constant. None of the, nothing's really been changed here. Like if you follow this exactly how I have it, then everything will be fine. So. I have a, you, it can be between 5 and 10 seconds, so they last a different amount of time, so they look at slightly different. If they all lasted the same amount of time, they would all spawn and all die at the same time, and then you wouldn't get any variation, and I don't know. Those two numbers work for me. Uh, the start size, I'm pretty sure, yeah, they all start at 6, and they stay at 6. <laughs> That's it. Um, the initial velocity... So you have like the same on the X, the same on the Y, and slightly different these. So they fall at different rates. Um, so kind of velocity radial. If there's anything I've missed, just put it in the comments. Really, it's none of the, none of these things are really important. I I swear I didn't change these. Yeah, I really didn't change any of these at all. I'm just going through them. Because there'll be someone who's like, oh, you didn't do this. 
Um, yeah, that's that's really it. Um, resilience. Distribution. Yeah. Okay, I did change these ones. I was just messing around really. They don't actually do much. Um, yeah, so what I've got for collision, when it hits the ground, you can have it to bounce. This is really useful for rain, which if you want, I can do in a later tutorial. So there's bouncing for rain. I use stop for snow, so it sits there, or kill. Kill, I don't really, okay, I guess that'd be really cool for a waterfall into into like the lake part of like the end. <laughs> so it would hit there and just die instead of just bouncing or stopping on there and creating, I guess, a backup of water. I guess, yeah, that's what you would use. That's what I would use it for. Initial location, this is just where it's spread. So I've got a 2000 by 2000 by 2000 box that it can spawn in. And whenever you make a particle system, go set fixed bounds and display. And then it just shows you. And then so, because sometimes if you move backwards and forwards, it'll actually turn off if you've changed the bounds. And you won't get a smooth sort of thing happening there. So that's everything for there. I did not change it, that is lying. Um, speed, those are the speeds that it has. Size by speed, yeah, they change slightly. That's everything. Um, literally everything, so, you know, press play again. Lighting's not been built properly. But there's the snow, and you'll see it sit the collisions are slightly weird, I'll give it that. Like this ground is not really that that good, but yeah, you can see it sitting on the ground. It just sits slightly off for some reason, but you see it there. Yeah, so thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments and I'll see you later.